The Eagles made a very interesting move last week, claiming running back Carryon Johnson off waivers from Detroit. He's now in Philadelphia. Hello, everyone. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, joined by the newest Philadelphia Eagles running back, Carryon Johnson. Hello, Carryon. Welcome to Philadelphia. Uh, how's the vibe here at the Novacare Complex? What do you think of the coaches? What's your first impressions? It's been excitement like I've never seen, just from the coaching staff as, as a whole. Uh, you can tell they enjoy coming here. You can tell they enjoy the opportunity they have. And uh, they're ready to work. They're ready to get the Eagles back to the Super Bowl. And they're preaching details. They're preaching competition. And, uh, you know, it's been nice. It's been a good day. The weather was great, so I can't complain. <laughs> so what has it been like for you, the range of emotions that you've had since last week? It was weird. Let me put it that way. Um, you know, it's the first time it's ever happened to me. So it was just very weird. But luckily, it was only, what, a, like a 24-hour stint. You know, it wasn't a you know a couple months thing, a couple weeks thing like some guys go through. So I'm very blessed and thankful that it wasn't because I don't know how mentally people handle that. Um, so it, it was weird. But, um, you know, things change. Uh, everybody in the league just about ends up switching teams at some point. You know, I just got to handle it, take it from there. And I'm excited for this fresh start, and I'm ready to get to work. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly where I was going with this. Sometimes a fresh start, a new beginning, is exactly what you need. Is that kind of the way you're seeing this? Oh, yeah, it's a new set of eyes to see me. It's a new set of eyes for me to watch other people. It's a new environment, new players, new coaches, new schemes, new fans, new teams to play. Um, you know, so I'm, I'm pumped. Um, I'm ready to give, you know, everything I have to this organization for uh, however long I'm here. And uh, that's what you can expect from me, for sure. All right, so tell me, how is the health? Uh, how do you feel physically? I feel great. I felt the best I've felt in a few years, honestly. Um, this offseason has been great, much better than the last one, and um, I feel great. I'm ready to roll. You know, it feels like a good time to be with a new, like I said, a new set of eyes, a new scheme, a new offense, and I'm ready to get going. In Detroit, that rookie year, those first 10 games, 641 yards, you're averaging more than five yards a carry. You are rolling, and then you get an injury. And I wonder how it was for you mentally, kind of, I know physically it's one, uh, obstacle to come back from, but also the mental part of it. What was it like for you? Ricky year, you know, I easily could have been at the top of, of the rookie running back class, which we had a good rookie running back class, but I wasn't, you know, injury sideline that, and, uh, you know, it's always difficult to deal with something that takes you off the top of your game, but you can let it affect you and it can carry over to the next year. You can beat it, be done with it, and put it behind you and grind it out. So um, that's the mentality my parents raised me with. And uh, that's what I went out there and did. I went out the next offseason, I trained, you know, was able to finish the whole 16 game slate last year. And, you know, so I, I feel like I'm on the trending upwards. Yeah, I mean, you've gone through the ups and the downs in the NFL. How has that changed you? How's that made you better? Yeah, it's definitely made me mentally way more tough. For the amount of injuries some people may say I have, there's always been people who've had more. I mean, you look at guys like Frank Gore, AP, guys like that that went on to become Hall of Fame type guys after major knee injuries. And the mental fortitude of being around guys and seeing guys like that has really made me a stronger player, really made me change the way I, you know, live my daily life and really helped me to become better. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, I know I can always look at myself in the mirror and say I gave 100 percent. I can go to sleep happy with that. You, you come into a new situation here. I'm sure you've looked at the names uh, of the running backs here. Uh, you're familiar with some of those running backs, of course. Um, how do you look at the situation for you as an individual? It's a good situation. You know, we've got a lot of good running backs in the room, in my opinion. You've got three guys that have played high caliber football over the past year or two years. I and mean, then you've got some young guys coming in hungry with talent as well. So all that is is going to make me better. It's going to make them better. We all can learn from each other. We all can take something from the other's game and we all can elevate ourselves. So it's never a time to complain for too much talent in a room. You can never really have that. And so we're going to all get together. We're going to all go out there. We're going to all help each other be the best we can be. And uh, that's the plan. Hey, I wonder, for Eagles fans who don't really know your style, how would you describe your running style, your abilities? What'd you bring to this table? I guess a slasher would probably be the best. You know, um, not the biggest, not the fastest, but I'm always trying to gain positive yards, always looking to keep my shoulders forward and uh, gaining more yards, taking what the defense gives me. Um, that's what I've always prided myself on, and that's what I plan to bring here. In terms of pass protection, you know, I think last year speaks for itself. That's just something that I enjoy doing. Um, it's something I find, find to be fun. And then being a threat out the backfield as well, you know, the game is changing. You got to be able to do everything in this game. So I'm just trying to become as well-rounded as I can. Did I hear you right? Did you just say you enjoy pass protection? Oh, that yeah. you think pass protection is fun? Honestly, I think it's a lot of fun. Um, it, I don't know why. Um, and I, I never really had a chance to do it as much 
in the past as I did the past two years. But um, yeah, it, it's pretty fun. Um, you know, that's something where I don't have to worry about ball security. I don't have to worry about catching the ball and I don't have to worry about gaining yards. All I have to do is worry about going out there and hitting whoever I'm blocking right in his face. You know, so it's kind of my chance to play defense. You know, I don't have to worry about much. I just got to go out there and do it. You referenced earlier, carry on your parents and how they raised you. And I've done some research into you and the incredibly competitive athletic environment that you were in, your parents, the way they raised you, and your siblings. And I wonder how that has helped shape you in your journey to the NFL. My family is very competitive and literally, you know, we try, my brother plays overseas basketball now, so, but when we can, we all try to get together and we always have family game night. And family game night is always Monopoly. We always end with Monopoly. Now we run other games, you know, Clue and all that stuff. And I swear to you, there will be two or 3 a.m. on Christmas and you will see the Johnson family kids downstairs still going at it, trying to build hotels and, and, and take each other's property. Um, that, and that's just how we do everything in life. We always compete against each other. And uh, it's, you know, it's made us the best athletes we can be. So we've always found it to be fun. Um, I, w I wonder how many elbows are being thrown at that Monopoly game. Oh, my sister going now. One of my sisters going to throw some elbows now. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's how she played when she played basketball. It was physical and tough and competitive. And uh, that's how my brother taught her to be. And I'm the baby. So, you know, I got to stick up for myself. So uh, I throw a few back myself. So. Did your brother make it back from Romania? I read that he was stuck over there. Yes, he did. COVID. Yep, he, he made it back last summer finally, and then he had his baby. He got back just in time for his baby and then uh, ended up going back to Russia this year. And he just got back from Russia the last week awesome. of last month. So he finally got, that was a tough situation, but it turned out for the better. Finally, uh, Eagles fans, of course, excited at your arrival. I wonder how they've reached out to you, what kind of reaction you've gotten from them. I've got a lot of uh, social media messages telling me to change my bio on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> so they're they're excited, and uh, I keep forgetting to change it because honestly, I just don't pay attention to that stuff. So they're, they're you know they're kind of trying to adopt me into the ways, and um, it's been nothing but positive, um, honestly. And um, I'm very thankful for that. You know, um, I try to carry myself the right way, and I try to play this game the right way. So it's nice to see that go noticed.